Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5, and we've got some new set photos, and we've got a description, all from Canada Graphs. I'll leave the link in the description below to his website, that is his blog, and you can see all the extra photos, there's more photos on there, and the full description of what he actually saw when he was on the set. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we got these new photos from Canada Graphs as he was on set just a couple of days ago, and so apparently they were shooting episode 15 and episode 16 in Vancouver for apparently three days in the week. And so the photos I'm going to be showcasing today are just some that I've picked out that we're going to be analysing and looking at. And so these were the ones he was able to get and like I said go check out the blog so you can see all of the extra ones And so episode 15 and 16 so with them shooting both episodes Presumably it might be a two-part episode, but right now the details are kind of thin We don't exactly know so I wouldn't say that's confirmed. It's definitely not confirmed It could be a two-part episode to do with the scenes that I'm going to be talking about But also it could just be that they're overlapping in terms of when they're shooting but we'll have to wait and see but anyway this is most likely from episode 16 the bit we're going to be talking about and so on the set the other day we had Grant and Jessica Parker Kennedy on the set doing a scene together and so these are where the photos come from and I'm going to read you out a brief description before we analyze the photos so this is the key part of what I can take out from what Canada Graph saw and so this was what the director said on the set Grodd is fighting and that's when King Shark lands, and that was shouted out on the set. And so the last time we saw Grodd was in Legends, I don't exactly know where he actually ended up. And King Shark, I do believe, was in Argus. So this is the episode they were talking about earlier in the season. It wasn't confirmed, but now it's definitely confirmed that these two are going to be in the same episode, and it's going to be heavily orientated around these two creatures. And so... This episode is very anticipated for a lot of people, and hopefully it's really good. I'm a fan of Grodd, I like him, especially in the earlier seasons, but I didn't particularly like that season 3 two-part episode. I thought it was alright, it wasn't anything too special. King Shark normally delivers every time, so, you know, seeing these together, you know, I'm really excited. Let me know if you are, but going over the extra details that was that kind of graphs wrote down on his blog, this is how it goes. A little while later, Grant as The Flash and Jessica as XS were on set doing a scene where they were clearly engaging him with one of the two mutant animals. The speedsters came prepared for a fight with Grodd it seemed, as they have some device on their heads that had earmuffs and two red lights on it. Again like the earlier scene, no action really took place, just the pair of speedsters standing in the street staring in the same direction saying something. And so that's the, you know, key element of what Canada Graphs actually was able to understand from being on the set, so let's break it down and let's break the photos down at the same time. So as you can see in these photos, we see that Jessica Parker Kennedy and Grant Gustin are on set and they are wearing these devices as it was described most likely to do with Grob because they were prepared obviously in the past we've had different types of devices but this is more advanced this is like properly made like Cisco has properly made this and it's got two flashing lights and it's obviously for Grodd, so Grodd can't mind control them, and so they're prepared for a fight, but King Shark lands in, and it has to be noted, right now, as far as Canada Graphs could see, there was no CGI stand-in actors, so any people in like a grey suit, so the CGI guys can, you know, build up the characters around it, so it seems like this is either going to be, they're quite far away in terms of Grodd and King Shark when they land, or it's going to be that they are going to be fighting, it's going to be a massive fight, so, you know, it's probably easier if there's nothing there. It's probably a bit more of a hassle if there was actually a person there and they would have to hide him and do all of that, so maybe it was just in terms of being easy, but most likely it's because there's some sort of action scene going on, and that is what kind of graphs was able to spot, but like I said, they had these devices on their head, and these devices are most definitely used to stop Grodd from using his mind control on them and it's definitely made by Cisco and you can see this front photo of Grant 
actually in the Flash costume and again the Flash costume hasn't changed at all just like a little observation but if you realized in recent episodes I think they changed sort of like the chin area a tiny bit they made it fit a bit better but they haven't added the chin strap back which I'm kind of sad about because I do believe the suit fits the chin strap a lot better but anyway so he's got that grod thing on his head he's got that device he's got two lights on it he's got a bit in the middle and they're shooting in the pouring rain that's just a matter of circumstance but yeah so they're definitely all equipped to fight grod and maybe king shark appearing is a surprise but it's kind of peculiar that they're having these two come in at the same time obviously they planned it and Nora alluded to this in the past just at the start of the season about King Shark and Gorilla Grodd together so it was obviously teased and that's when people started theorizing is it going to come later this season and now it officially is we see police cars nearby and so I don't know the circumstance of bringing these two characters together are they working together or are they actually fighting each other? Is it like a Godzilla versus King Kong type of battle that they're going for? Are they going for this massive fight where they're actually fighting each other? Maybe to rule over Central City or whatever the plans are. But they do have a mutual interest in trying to destroy the Flash because they both hate the Flash, especially Grodd and King Shark now more so after season two, obviously when he first appeared and he's appeared many times since then. So the reason as to why they're working together or fighting each other, still unknown, but I think it's just going to be a really, really kind of awesome. I think it's just going to be a really awesome episode with them, you know, going at it, whether it's to the Flash and XS. Definitely Grodd is going against the Flash and XS, but we don't know about King Shark right now. That's still kind of unknown. But like I said, the police cars are there, as you can see in this photo, with Nora and with Barry looking at someone and this is most likely just a shot from the perspective of Grodd and then King Shark lands in because that's the same scene and we got another photo of Grant and it's close up and it's a little bit blurry because he's moving but he's got that and you can see it a bit better in terms of the head mask and what else is going on in this scene so yeah there's not too much more photos the photos sort of all encapsulate the same thing it's within a few frames apparently Canada Graphs was there for an hour but it was just really hard to get photos this time and so I'm guessing over you know the next week or so they're going to be filming more of this maybe we'll get some more set photos and perhaps you know the stand-ins come in and actually perform some actual like CGI work right there but for now it's just them and most likely this is just going to be a big fight scene but apparently not much went on that night, so maybe they're waiting for another night. And the final thing that I want to talk about, and this came to my attention the other day, and I think I mentioned it previously, but Danielle Panabaker confirmed as to why in episode 10, Barry wasn't in too much of the episode, why he was in the pipeline. He was just on the video footage and he appeared a few times. And so Danielle confirmed that Barry was in the pipeline for most of the episode of episode 10 was because Grant was actually in Gotham, that being they were shooting in Chicago in America because they shoot in Canada in Vancouver normally, finishing up the crossover because that's where they shot most of that episode, so that was the final episode of the Elseworlds crossover. So yeah, I thought I would just mention that because I know some of you guys were wondering why he wasn't in much of the episode, so he was shooting in Gotham, that being Chicago, and he was finishing the Elseworlds crossover, so that happens quite a lot on the DC shows. I know the Kevin Smith episode of Supergirl ran over into the crossover, so, you know, maybe that's why they can't appear as much in some of these episodes, but it all comes back around and we all get benefits in terms of Grant being in the crossover for a lot of it, for a hell of a lot of it, actually, and it just so happened the ramification was he didn't appear all too much in last episode although he was on the screen yeah he didn't do too much but he still you know had a role to play and i wasn't too bothered by that at all i really did like last episode and so before we end this video guys i just want to remind you guys supergirl is back this sunday so tomorrow night so please be sure to turn on notifications also the flash as per usual is on tuesday this is going to be episode 11 and Nora is going to be crucially and critically injured 
by Cicada in this episode as we saw in some of the trailers. So if you've missed those videos, please be sure to check them out. They're just on the channel, you can find them straight away because it was just a few days ago I made that trailer breakdown. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.